I will tell you that um, I have had five pregnancies. All my stories in my birth trauma book, by the way, none of them ended in a live birth. Okay, I had three miscarriages. I had one baby um, that I conceived through artificial reproductive technologies because my husband at the time had a low sperm count. So I went through this whole dark underworld of artificial reproductive technologies uh, without understanding that the drugs that they give people to hyperovulate can cause deformities in the children. So my baby was diagnosed with deformities that were severe in the fifth month. And uh, I was given the option to abort my baby without understanding how they were going to kill my baby. And I chose that option. I was very unconscious at the time. And obviously when you have an abortion, I wanna stress this, there's gonna be trauma in your womb and in your physiology in general and in your spiritual body. And this can impact your birth experiences later down the road. Okay, so on top of my own birth trauma, when I was born in a hospital, okay, and I could go into that, but I had other trauma before I attempted to give birth to the daughter that you just mentioned, my daughter, Anastasia. She was my fifth pregnancy. And I carried Anastasia to term. She was actually two weeks beyond their due date. And I tried to give birth to Anastasia at home. People, I don't recommend home birth to people that have been born in a hospital and who have not dealt with their own birth trauma. Because if my experience is any indication, my prior birth trauma activated big time when I tried to give birth to Anastasia. I had no language to understand what I'm saying to you now at that time. But in looking back, I can say absolutely, my birth trauma was being recreated during the birth of my daughter, Anastasia, who was born not breathing after a very long 52 hour labor. She got rushed to one hospital. I got rushed to another hospital. I was hemorrhaging to death because the placenta, this is how what I discern right now there was a point about 20 minutes before Anastasia emerged where she really started kicking, like she needed to get out of the womb. And I believe my placenta had come apart from the placental wall and she wasn't getting oxygen in that last 20 minutes. Mm. Um, and that's why also my placenta was coming out in parts, which was not, not good. And in any event, she was put in a neonatal intensive care unit for two months and two days where she was tortured every day, multiple times a day. Neonatal intensive care units are freaking brutal. Brutal evil is going on there. And you have to be completely dissociated to be able to inflict these kinds of protocols on infants, helpless infants, repeatedly every day, several times a day. So I witnessed my daughter, for example, they had my daughter on paralysis drugs 24-7, almost the whole time. So they would do very painful protocols on her, like intubating her without any anesthetic whatsoever so that she could feel everything that was being done to her, but she could not cry and she could not move because she was paralyzed. And this they are doing to all kinds of babies. So they'll stick the babies repeatedly in the foot day after day after day. They will jab them multiple times for, for their vampiric 
blood theft every day. Uh, she had needles stuck in every part of her body, her head, every vein, you know, had, it seemed like something was in it. She had become one with their machine. She was attached to their machines. It was impossible to hold her or to provide her with any kind of loving touch. The only touch that my daughter ever experienced during her time there was violent and painful. Even something, you know, putting tape to hold the tube, ripping it off, putting it on, ripping it off so that her whole, this whole area of her face was raw from the tape itself. 